Hi, this is Joe Calloway. And this is Randy Pennington. We talk about leadership. We and do talk about leadership today. We're going to talk about building a great brand. Let me ask you a question. If I want it, Randy Pennington is a brand great brand has been for a long time well if, there, if, there, there would be some people that would argue with that many. if i want to know what your <laughs> brand is who do i ask do i ask you no who do i ask you ask my customer that's you right. ask my client because i own the message that i put out if you go to my website you'll see my message that i put out if i go to your website joe uh, you got a great website by the way why thank you um they'll see your message it puts yeah. out but my clients, my customers, just like your customers, they own the brand. They own the brand, and they own the brand today more than ever before. And let me tell you what I'm thinking when I say that, because word of mouth has always been the most powerful influence on buying decisions, always, forever. But the math has changed. And today, word of mouth isn't a satisfied customer telling four or five people and a dissatisfied customer telling up to 20. Remember those old numbers? Today, yeah. a, a satisfied customer is telling how many people, potentially? 20 million. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And, and a dissatis dissatisfied customer, the same. So I would just ask everybody who's, who's with us right now on, on this interview to think how many of you in the last week have been on the internet to see what other people think about something that you are thinking about buying, a place you're thinking about going, a book you're thinking about reading. You want to see what other people think because that, in reality, is the brand. You know, and it, I, I interviewed a guy about a year ago who told me that companies don't use employees to help spread their brand message very well at all. Yeah. But the statistics that he told me are very important, that when you as a company put out your brand message, mm -hmm. it's not the same as if someone else, even if it's your employee talking yeah, about it. Yeah, that's true. If you, if you try to do it as the corporate brand, mm -hmm. they assume that's just advertising and marketing. Right. That's me telling the world how great I am. Who cares? Nobody cares. Nobody yeah. cares. So it doesn't matter if you want to use your employees, you want to use your customers. It's got to be somebody talking about you. Yeah. And here's the real challenge that I have, and I think it's sort of the holy grail of building a great brand. It's not making the brand promise. It's delivering the brand Absolutely. promise on a consistent basis, day in and day out, so that people know, you, you talk about it in one of your books, that it's always consistent that I'm going to get the same thing. Well, every consistency time. of performance is the great brand builder. Inconsistency of performance is, is the brand killer. And it, you, you touch on something interesting. A lot of times, companies will go off and they'll bring in their marketing people or ad agents or whatever, and they come up with their brand statement and they say, okay, we've got our brand. No, We're you've done. got a slogan. That's you've right. You've got a slogan. Your brand is what happens with your customers and then what they say about it after it happens. So, Tell me a company you think is a great global brand. Gosh. Okay, you know the one that comes to mind immediately simply because I was just talking about consistency? Coca-Cola. Because I know what's going to be in that can every single time. Now, their advertising, their marketing puts different spins on it. Every, every season. Yeah, but ultimately the brand strength is in, in their case, the strength of that product. Uh, Disney, uh, the parks, the cruise ships, certainly. It's all about the family experience. Did they make people happy? That is the brand strength. The second they start getting iffy, well, it depends on what day you go. One day we went and we were happy. Next day we went and we weren't. Well, that's brand killer right there. So there's two right there. there there's two, you know, um, does Coke have a slogan? Well, you, uh, golly, I went back 40 years to the pause that refreshes. What is it now? Uh, have a Coke and a smile? Right. What is it now? Yeah, I don't but, even but, know. But the, but the point is, their slogan, their marketing slogan and tagline changes. Exactly. You know, first off, the brand that refreshes, Coke is it, whatever yeah, that Coke might be. You know, But the thing is, none of those have anything to do with what their brand is. You know what the brand is? The brand is, is when you, you go to a picnic and you open up the cooler and there's Coke and Pepsi and say, no, nah, I want a Coke. Because I like it better. That's the brand. That's the brand. So here's the news if you're thinking about building the brand for your organization. 
Yes, you have to make the promise. Yep. But most important, you have to keep the promise you deliver. through consistent performance day in and day out in every kind of circumstance so that people talk about you. Exactly. Your brand is what your customers say about you. Thanks. We'll talk to you next time. See you soon.